Hey guys, it's Paul. I have a quick video and it's an answer the most asked question or the most asked question that you don't ask. Which CRM do I recommend? HubSpot or Zoho? Right, it always comes down to those two. Most views on my channel, most users on each CRM. Um, arguably the best ones. There are some smaller ones that are cool, but if I was going to recommend, I would be going HubSpot or Zoho. Now, Here's the difference, and the difference is quite big. If you don't want to pay anything, what is the free CRM that I recommend? Before I dive into that though, uh, like all my videos, tell me why you're here, pause me, tell me why you're here. You're probably here to, to see the answer to that last question. I'm gonna timestamp what the free version, best free version is, and what the best paid version is. Um, so look in the bottom across the scroll bars, you can jump along. I have free training for both HubSpot CRM and Zoho CRM. You will not pay me a penny. So this is my independent advice on which is better, right? And of course, if this gives you any kind of value and my training going forward or backwards is giving you value, a subscribe would be amazing, right? So which is the best for free? You're not going to pay anything. HubSpot or Zoho? They're both good, right? They are both good. Better, and what I would recommend on the free version, is HubSpot. HubSpot is free for unlimited users. Zoho is free for three users, right? So at this time, Zoho CRM, uh, Zoho CRM, it used to be free for 10 users, but they've changed it for free to, um, if you go down here, show, comp ah, Go here to complete feature list, right? Free for three users, but then obviously there's a limitation on what you can do. Oh, um, I don't know if, if it's gonna show uh, pricing, am I logged in? Um, do, 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 bundles, free tools, uh, do, do, marketing tools. Oh, what does it say unlimited? All features, the HubSpot, unlimited users, right? Free forever, all your data, unlimited users. So there is no cap on the usage per user, right? Inside HubSpot CRM, it's a little bit more softer. It's a little bit more cooler. It's a little bit more intuitive than Zoho. The free version is easier to pick up on HubSpot. Customer service for free users is better than Zoho. Zoho CRM, 30 million users. The customer service isn't immaculate. I don't know if they would admit that or not, but I get a lot of people asking for Zoho CRM help because maybe the customer service isn't as good as it could be. I get very few people asking about HubSpot help, right? So whatever's in there, the live chat, the um, support network, inside the free versions, HubSpot, to me, is the better option if you're free and staying free and have no plans to pay for anything. Now, HubSpot, Zoho, which is better when you start paying, when you want to upgrade, when you scale your business, when you want to look at the funky features, you want to customize and make it work so that your company is even faster and better working. Pricing wise, when you start going through pricing on HubSpot, it gets very expensive. And in fact, a few people <clears throat> have called it HubSpot, where they replace the S in the middle with a dollar sign. The money that goes up with HubSpot for the value, so look at the starter here, 33, 33 pounds 60 pence a month, billed annually, 42 quid a month. This is just for their landing pages and their ad manager and their contact website, right? So build per month per user, right? A thousand contacts. You start going to their professional stuff. I mean, geez, 655 quid a month, right? Or you go to this enterprise level at 2,000 a month, right? So they say that HubSpot, a lot of people jokingly call HubSpot, like I said, hub with a, with a dollar sign in the middle. When you go pricing, when you go up in value and you start paying HubSpot, um, the pricing jumps. The, the From free to pricing on HubSpot is quite uh, significant. 
when you look at Zoho updated pricing, so if you just want to go Zoho CRM pricing, see here, enterprise, 30 quid a month. 30 quid a month per user, right? Build annually. That's, let's, you know, let's be fair and go monthly. £36 a month. It's got up a quid, actually. Um, all $36 or €36, Euros, uh, you know, it's probably the same. Oh, no, it's €45. Euros. The... Um, uh, Zoho finally decided that there was a difference in exchange rates, but that's quite a big jump, actually. Not sure about that. But anyway, so if you just went to enterprise level on Zoho, you pay 36 quid a month per user, but you get all these extra features. But the difference with Zoho is something called Zoho One, right? And this is where it jumps out a mile in front of um, HubSpot when it comes to a... a paying for your crm hubspot free better uh, zoho one versus hubspot night and day night and day the value the value in zoho one right now for 40 apps right so integrated apps uh, they used to have a better thing where you could see all the apps at once right let me sign out of zoho pricing for pricing it is 30 now remember Right, let's go monthly again. Remember, Zoho CRM Enterprise was £36 a month if you paid monthly. This is £35 a month. So it's already a pound cheaper than going Enterprise on Zoho CRM. But with, um, with Zoho 1, you get Enterprise level of every one of their apps, right? And there's 40 apps. Um, they used to have a page where it just showed you all the apps, but let's just jump through on what Zoho One offers, right? And you can go to z1trial.com. I explained Zoho a little bit better there. I'm a partner for both Zoho and HubSpot, so I don't know whether it goes without saying that I'm a partner. If you sign up here, I have two videos that will show exactly what Zoho One is, right? But look, it's uh, Zoho One gives you a suite of more than 40 integrated business and productivity apps for your entire business. Simply turn on an app to improve your process. Uh, it's not even, uh, I mean, Zoho, I don't know why you've changed your page because this sales page now is rubbish. Um, resources, in fact, let me, did I log out? Let me log in, bloody now. No, oh, I, oh, I just logged out, didn't I? I tell me, the easiest way for me to, um, to log in is to go uh, Paul at z1trial.com. And show you this right so let me show you the back end of zoho and let me show you the apps right so my apps let me go to admin because there might be some more they add, add apps all the time there's always improving your business they're always increasing all these apps right applications add applications yeah you see look zoho bookings has been added so you can schedule your bookings right Oh, what else was on that tab? New <clears throat> Zoho Marketing Hub. Uh, yes, add. So this is how you're adding apps to your to your net network. Okay, uh, Orchestly. I don't even know what Orchestly is, but I'm adding it. Right. Okay. Creator. You don't really add creator. Uh, it, it that's creator, so you can build your own app. Right. So now when I go to applications. Let me run through them. What you're getting for £35 per month per user versus Zoho CRM, which is £36 a month on its own. You're getting Zoho Enterprise Level. Um, over on, you, on uh, HubSpot, as soon as you step up, even their minimum is 42 a month, right? So this is 35 quid a month per user paid monthly, £30 a month per user paid annually. Analytics. Uh, all your reporting, everything you need to see, uh, all in one place, even things like your, your website visits and um, all sorts of data importing you can check. Your reporting, Zoho Analytics is going to show you data across your your uh, business. Zoho Assist, remote access a computer. People working from home at minute can remote access their computer at work. Zoho Backstage, a full events program platform where you can... 
host events, host conferences, and, it, and you can schedule events coming up. It has a full website that you post. You can sell tickets, and you've got an app that you can communicate with everybody who's coming to your event that day. So Begin is a smaller, more streamlined sales funnel app. Zoho bookings, taking bookings, scheduling people in, uh, paid or free, uh, sell classes, things like that. Zoho Books, a full accountancy program. This is replacing QuickBooks or or uh, Sage or something like that. Online accounting, everything's syncing together. Campaigns, this is newsletter management, sending out your newsletters, your email list. Check, check out a quick page where you can just send somebody a, a checkout page and they can quickly pay for something. So it's like a miniature store that's just a page. Zoho Click replaces something like Slack. This is inter-office communications in a messenger service. Zoho Connect is a social media network in the office where you can have a bulletin board and a forum and you can share your documents and you can message and say what have people been up to. It's an internal Facebook, that. Contact Manager and CRM. You probably wouldn't use Contact Manager if you're using the CRM, the flagship, the the sales, the customer relationship management platform where you're you're monitoring and tracking all interactions with your customers. Again, £35, £36 a month for just that on Enterprise or £35 a month on Zoho One. <coughs> Zoho Desk, customer so support, managing tickets, managing uh, customer help requests, a knowledge base on your website. Docs, managing all your documents, expenses, tracking Tracking employee expenses, tracking your expenses, timesheets, all sorts of stuff like that. Zoho Flow, interacting with different other um, programs. Zoho Forms, putting forms on your website uh, to to uh, they can input straight to your CRM or just a general contact form. Zoho Inventory, managing your inventory, right? A full app to manage your inventory. Obviously, it syncs with with books. Zoho Invoice, just sending invoices out if you want to. Zoho Mail, replacing your email accounts, right? This is this is email, this is email for your business. Marketing Hub, really tunneling into to, uh, what, what things people are going on your website, how are you tracking them through, what's the customer journey. Marketing Hub, I haven't, I'm not an expert on Marketing Hub yet, but it's, it's a new fleet of, of seeing what people do within your pipeline. Zoho Meeting, um, Obviously, hosting internal office meetings, you know, it's replacing Zoom. So, our mo motivator is um, uh, gamifying your sales team and giving them targets and, and letting them sort of work towards a target in a gaming kind of way. So, notebook, little notepad, and little notepad notes, snippets to make you remember. I still don't know what Orchestra is. So, page sense, tracking your website, hotspots on your website. What are people touching? What are people clicking on? Where are people going? What stats are coming through? So, oh, people, into office HR, managing sick pay, vacation pay, um, contracts, wages, all that sort of stuff. Into people is into office HR. So, oh, projects, managing your project management. Into office, into team, inviting customers in to show where you are with a project, full project management. Zoho Recruit. So if Zoho HR is internal office, Zoho Recruit is external HR. Um, posting jobs, hiring people, uh, tracking as you as you go through the interview process, keeping people's CVs on on um, on file for next time, stuff like that. Zoho Sales IQ, online chat. Um, you put a box on your on your website where you can track people coming and you can interact with people as a live chat box chat box on your website, right? Does it in any language as well? Really cool. Zoho Showtime um, is a, a, a replacement of Zoom again, like a webinar. You can you can do a um, you can invite people into your webinar and they can pay to come in and and you host a webinar. It's very much like Zoom. Zoho Sign. E-documents, sending out, uh, someone's signed off on a deal, you send out the e-document, they e-sign it and send it back. Brilliant, it works great with Zoho's CRM. Zoho Sites, created a website, put in your website, z1trial.com, this is a Zoho site, right? Zoho Social, posting to all your social networks, social network management, and then tracking the leads that come in through comments on your network. So if you put... Um, 
a sales post up and somebody comments on it, you can put them through your CRM via Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. Sprints is a smaller project management. You maybe if you're using Zoro projects, won't use it. Zoro subscriptions, managing memberships, managing subscriptions, managing recurring revenue that you use. Zoro survey, managing customer surveys, you know, feedback forms, uh, customer ideas, what do you want? Sending out surveys, right? Vault is managing all your passwords throughout all your networks. And Work Drive is another place where you manage all your documents. It is unbelievable what Zoho One can offer your business. It's, and it's an unbelievable learning curve and it's an unbelievable um, uh, offer right now. And they're always upgrading these apps. They're always adding new apps. Uh, it's just really cool. So when you're looking at paid CRM, you go from HubSpot paid to Zoho One paid. It currently is night and day, the difference in value. It's unbelievable. Um, so you can also go with, oh yeah, I'm going to do this in a conclusion, right? So in conclusion, HubSpot and Zoho, great companies, great CRMs, great staff, um, support probably a fraction better on HubSpot. Uh, than than Zoho, Zoho support still still evolving, still getting better. But HubSpot team support is better. HubSpot free version is better because it's got unlimited users, unlimited um, unlimited uh, sorry yeah users, better support and possibly a, a comfier, more um, easier to learn, intuitive uh, way of working. Zo CRM free is also great, but both limited, but HubSpot CRM wins on the free version. When you move up to paid versions, Zoho One is an unbelievable deal, um, and it, it, it can just do so much. It's just how how much value you get in Zoho One. Um, it, it blows my mind, to be fair. At a pound a day per user, it is insane. So, hope that helps. Come to my, leave comments on this video. Leave comments on other videos. I have free training, completely free training. If you go to paulnicholson.com, you will see I have free training. You can dive in. You can, HubSpot's here. Zoho One's up here. Obviously, Zoho One's got a lot more apps, but you don't have to sign up. It's basically a forum training. You can reply, dive in and comment. You can jump about, you can create a question, go to CRM, go here to Zoho CR questions, just create a new question, jump in, ask a question. Nothing to sign up for on my end, nothing that I will charge you with. I am a Zoho partner, I'm a HubSpot partner, I will get paid um, some, some commission um, on what you pay those people if you sign up via my links that are in the description and I've been on the screen all this time. Hope that helped. Um, send me a comment, leave a reply, tell me what you think, uh, and I'll keep making these videos that people keep requesting. Cheers.